And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Buried Treasure, our next Meme Tier Monday deck. This one is going to be about putting treasures into our deck with the card Lost Riches. Four mana burst, draw a treasure, but if there aren't any to draw, you create two treasures in your deck instead. So that's what we do. We're going to put two treasures into our deck. We're going to bury them. And then we're going to look for them. Then we're going to find them. We're going to be using Sharima with the Predict cards. We have Predict cards like Ancient Preparations, Aspiring Chronomancers. These cards can kind of help look through the deck and put stuff on top. So we're going to try to put our treasures on top. Besides that, we're going to have a lot of card draw. We're going to have cards like Pick a Card, Preservarium, Salvage. That can Salvage can get rid of four cards, basically, because you toss two. If those are treasures, you put them into your hand and then draw another two. So lots of card draw to go along with Twisted Fate. Y'all know that Twisted Fate loves card draw. You know, spray fin, all that kind of stuff. So lots of card draw and um, predict to look for treasures. So it should be pretty cool. We're going to have Xenotype Researchers also in here to grant three random allies plus three plus three since we are drawing lots of cards that can, uh, you know, help buff up some some random allies like Ruin Runner or Spray Fin or, or Twisted Fate, anything cool like that. So that's our deck. Pocket Aces is protection. Exhaust is a little bit of interaction. And Ride of Calling helps find Twisted Fate. All right, so let's get to it. Let's play some Buried Treasure. We're going to just play this deck over in Normal because it's Meme Tier Day. That's what we do. Play them on over in Normal instead of Ranked so that maybe we can show off the deck a little bit more. Okay, looks like we're playing against Targon with Vi. Sounds like a pretty viable deck. We're going to go ahead and mulligan everything. Try again. Lost riches. <laughs> I felt like I said ostriches. <laughs> ah, turn one Zoe. All right, well, we got a slow hand. Turn one Zoe, turn two Ballistic Bot is going to be tough to beat. I'll be surprised if we win this game. All right, let's start with the researchers. Definitely think about playing the Pocket Aces right now since it costs two instead of three, but I think I'll hold on to it. My plan this turn is to play Lost Riches plus Chronomancer. Keelbreaker. Look, I've made a breakthrough. All right. Show us what you can do. Keelbreaker could be cool. Be a way to kill the Zoe. Listen to me. Well, it looks like they're not allowing me to do that. It's turn five, right? Yeah, turn five, and Ballistic Bot's already a 9-3. <laughs> I guess two of them are from Veil Temples. So many credit cards. We were peaceful once. All right, that thing's at seven. Temperamental as moonlight. 
Man. Targon decks are crazy. Turn one Zoe's pretty crazy. I'm guessing they take Salvage, but I guess I could see them taking Exhaust. I mean, I guess even Lost Riches, they, they've already gone through so many cards. me taking six right now. Oh gosh. Well that's obviously game. I guess it was the exhaust. Yeah by turn six that ball that ballistic bot was already 13 power. All right, GG, Sargon. All right, looks like we got some ephemerals. With Ionia, with Hecarim Callista. Let's replace those. Exhaust is always a good spell to be able to kill stuff. Yes, our opponent was just playing Zoe... Uh... They were playing Zoe, Aphelios, and Vi. But it's basically just Zoe, Ballistic Bot. Is all we saw. Does death follow me, or peace? Twisted Fae... Twisted would have been amazing to have last game with, you know, different red cards and stuff. We definitely needed Twisted Fae last game. That would have been a, a way for us to kill Zoe earlier. I probably should have just killed Callista. I kind of didn't adapt to um, them playing Callista, right? Like I was already kind of set on what I was doing, right? I I take a look, take over, and. I look over at chat for a little bit. They play Callista. I'm like, all right, here's my play. But, I mean, getting rid of that 2-3 is also really important with all these ephemerals growing. That's not the worst thing. All right, I guess we just gold card. Never lost a fair game. Keep this Callista from attacking. Yeah, red card wouldn't do very much because it would just level up Callista. Callista would attack, put in an ephemeral. The shark would still come back. Harvey. Exhaust. Let's try to find another exhaust. Yay. It was not very likely that we were going to draw exhaust right there. Looks like trouble. They probably have the card that gets rid of the ephemeral and gives it to somebody else. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I guess not. Okay, that's good. That turn worked out great for us. The desert by my side. That sounds so great. I don't know 
if blocking Hecarim is worth it. Excuse us. I guess so. I don't know. I don't know if that block's worth it. To keep us safe. Skip. All right, salvage. All right, so twist fades at four right now, so that's five, six, seven. Lady Luck is smiling. So I'm planning on playing this right of calling. I think I may actually just destroy a mana gem so we can just keep blocker. That's actually probably better. Because that's just draw one, so that gets to eight, so then my draw for turn is nine. I can, of course, also use the uh, pick a card as well. But I think I want to save that. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Old Twist of Fate would have been leveled up already. Eight cards. Wow. You can't say it's not it's not a nerf. Old Twist of Fate. Would have been leveled up. I say they kind of have to open attack, right? So right now this attack would deal six damage to us if they open attack like that. We go down to five. We lose everything. Huh. This will not do as much damage to us. You can't do this. Don't touch it. Listen Make to more me. sense to go this Don't way. Touch it. So we take four. And we can keep Sprayfin alive. Let's get back to nine. Uh oh. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Basically, don't like any spell that that could be. Whatever the spell is, I don't. I don't like it. I guess we'll take that 5-6. How am I getting rid of this Neverglade Collector? Kill this Neverglade Collector. So three. About to find that. It's going to be four or five. So I kind of need to pick a card right here, but I also want to... I kind of want to pocket ace... No, because they're just going to heal their Nexus anyway. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's go pick a card. Jason. Yeah, 
Yeah, unfortunately, we just don't have very much removal, and so, like, this Neverglade Collector... Um, yeah, <laughs> we, we can't really interact with that, so unfortunately, it looks like we're going to die. That puts me to one best-case scenario. I can't actually draw another card. I guess I'm I guess I'm dead. Yeah. I'm just I'm just dead to the collector. Yeah, I do want to draw that card because I want to because I, I would like to red card and, and kill that attacker before it brings all the sharks in play. But you know, if I do that, I still just I still just I'm just dead no matter what I do. I'm, the collector just kills me. Okay, Azir, Talia. So cool, we get to play against the Talia deck. Alright, we got our Lost Riches. Looks like a pretty good hand. For for our deck. Yo, yeah, well, this is a this is a viewer submitted donation deck, nowhere. Um but yeah, I understand the PNZ is an, another region that you could play instead of Shirima for uh, treasures. But we're trying this one with the Predicts and Lostriches. Dune Keeper. Oh, would you look at this place? Could definitely be me. Could definitely been too greedy, not playing the preparations on turn one and, and waiting till after Lost Riches for preparations. Our opponent just, you know, kills us with a bunch of aggro stuff. If only this car was fast speed. Treasures in the deck. Alright, thanks for the donation deck there, Mervin. Leona plus Yasuo. I, I'll build that for you. Okay, let's play this and get a blocker. Play Worm Egg! I don't want there to we go! Finding our treasures. The cliffs themselves are my barracks. Cool. So they're gonna be five fives. We're not too close to being deep. I guess I was supposed to block with the 2-1 to give myself room. I'll just pass. Yeah, right negation would blow me up pretty bad. Triple five fives. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I guess that happens. That was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. I was about to try to kill his ear with exhaust. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Shoulders 
Could still put a zero to one health, which is good for a red card. I guess I do that. We'll have opportunities to block Sand Soldiers in the future. Calvary is too tough. It won't die to the red card. Can see them doing the, the whole challenge thing again. Cataclysm. We got back up to the fate. It's all good. Treasure trove. Let's go. All right, treasure trove time. Let's see what we get. Okay, Shadow Assassin, Three Sisters. Three Sisters is pretty bad. Counterfeit copies. Okay. So this was overall pretty bad. Yeah, as far as five random cards go, this was pretty bad. Counterfeit copies, Twisted Fate. Couldn't cast Avalanche. Gold card that thing. Holy partner. The Vanguard will have to fall. The dark beckons. Give them something to remember me. I will play my part. Okay, we'll burn those two cards. Alright, so we got two treasures this game. This is a cool game. We got the Vicious Plate Worm. What do you make of Xeno type researchers. Sure. Alright, there we go. Gotta win. Playing against some aggro with our slow, <laughs> derpy treasure deck. This probably isn't going to be a good situation. Alright, we'll keep three drop, four drop that affects the board. Yeah, Teemo Burn not going to be good for us. Definitely would have been better to have the attack token turn one, right? Like, that's that's a big deal for this matchup. So, unfortunately, uh, not only going to be a tough matchup, but they also have the attack token turn one. Always forward. Fact, I am superior life form. Show. That's new. 
Alright, so we're gonna have Twisted Fate Red card next turn. For the Empire. I'll scout ahead. Then just starts with mushrooms. Can you improve perfection? Definitely wish I had one more I wish I had one more mana for that exhaust. I don't think I had to kill that ballistic bot. Very good chance I'm dead. Be able to start countering burn spells next turn. Yeah, we don't have our, we don't have very much defense in our deck. It's mostly all, um, you know, it's just mostly all card draw and everything. So, you know, it's it's the reason why we're a meme tier deck. We're not going to have, you know, a great deck against, um, you know, against all flat out burn. That's just how it's going to be. That's just how it's going to be. Let him think it's luck. All right, we got to top deck another red indication. Puff caps. The deck was stacked against us. All right, Ezreal Shadow Isles. Slower deck. That's good. So we we need the slower games because we need to be able to um, let's keep those. We need to be able to you know have time to play all of our card draw spells and everything like that. Okay, so we're going to have Lost Riches on turn three. Time for a true display of skill. Plus preparations. I guess I take another preparations for next turn. No, let's just skip. So the Chronomancer already. I could take the exhaust and like try to kill the Ezreal, but that's just probably not gonna happen. Firing. So the exhaust is probably a waste of a card. Oh right. I got excited, I was like, ooh, I can put two more treasures back in our deck to go find him. And then it and then it, <laughs> it drew one, I was like, wait, what? But I've never actually cast Lost Searches with treasures in my deck before. Right, the very first thing is to draw a treasure. Alright, so I guess we were drawing this Keel Breaker. Alright, and they just played a Unto Dusk just to cycle. Mercy. 
here. This card may take a, some resources from them. Pretty good ride negation. Stopping two spells. Not letting them draw. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Spray fins, elusive. So their Shadow Isles deck here is, is built around um, getting more Ezreals. I don't miss. Like so, like if I kill Ezreal, like they they bring it back with like uh, Rekindler and stuff like that. So killing Ezreal doesn't always work as we would like. I didn't have to destroy a mana gem. I would be able to play Keel Breaker, then play Worm Egg safe. next turn. So I am I'm just worried about Rekindler, right? Like I'm worried about I'm worried that I play. Kill Breaker, then they play Rekindler. Where that leaves me. I guess at that point, you know, like we play the Spray Fin. Well, they just dealt one less damage than what they should have. Like they should have tar like if they would have targeted my thing, they would have dealt another point of damage than what they just did. Right? Like so I should be at ten right now. Terrative improvement is always an, a really underrated card. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Very underrated card. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Let's do this. I've learned. I don't know if I can go, I can just go to seven. I would definitely like another ride negation, please. Eggs. Get some five fives. I 
They're vicious. They vicious. This is attacking for 15 with the ride negation backup. Ah, they are fearsome. Jury rig can't block them. So I think, yeah, I can't I can't really imagine anything they have for this. Yeah, I guess suit up. <laughs> suit up the jury rig. I don't know why they'd be playing suit up, but. So yeah, even if they would have found like you know different mystic shots and stuff. Just kind of showing them. All right, all right. So we went two and three with our buried treasure deck. Nothing wrong with that. Good, respectable record. Um, you know, we weren't expecting this deck to be the best or anything like that, but. Um, it was pretty cool. We saw there, like that last game, uh, how we were able to get some treasures pretty quickly, putting them into the deck, and then either drawing them with Lost Riches or using all of these different predict cards. I think the deck, what the deck was kind of missing was a little bit more interaction. I was really impressed with the exhaust. Like, the exhaust looked good for us, you know, especially how we're trying to play, like, kind of a slower control deck to, um, and then a late game deck. So I, I think I would want another exhaust in here. Pocket Aces did not look so good. And so I think that those could be removed and get another exhaust. And then one other card that kind of interacts with the opponent. Um, maybe a Ruthless Predator. Uh, be able to have one of our tutus help kill something. Or we could play um, you know, some kind of fight spell. The Ride of Negations were awesome. I wouldn't mind another Ride of Negation though anyway. like I could, I could see just doing that. Um, but there's probably not a better... I mean, there's Quicksand. Quicksand's probably pretty good, so that's what I'd do. I'd get rid of those other two. Let's get a Quicksand in here and a third Exhaust. Um, be able to help kill some champions we got to. And yeah, Quicksand. I'm always happy with Quicksand. So there we go. That's just a small change I would make. Just um, Pocket Aces uh, wasn't really anything I was too interested in casting for most of the game. And so let, let's, get, let's get some other card. Let's get a card that performed really well, like Exhaust. And then Quicksand, which is also just a nice one. All right, so there we go. So there's some buried treasure. Um, treasures in Shirima. We got treasures in the sand. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. You know, uh, Let me know how you like the deck or anything else like that. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some buried treasure, and I'll see you for the next video.